Hey guys, it's PMHK here, obviously, and this is my late 2011 MacBook Pro. Now, the reason for this video is that uh, a friend of mine, DK, I uh, know most of you guys already know DK, I'm gonna link his channel maybe down in the description if you guys want to, but he made a video talking about his daily driver, so I wanted to kind of reply to that video and make my own version of that video talking about my own daily driver. Now, this is the Mac. Book Pro, as I said, the late 2011. 2011, I remember I bought this guy after college, right before I entered into university. If you're wondering which university I went to, I went to University of Johannesburg and I graduated on logistics management. So, this computer, I've been using it for almost seven years now and it's what I used to uh, do my work obviously at college and in university and now I usually mainly for editing which is why what, what I normally do these days so this guy is uh, 250 gig SSD inside it has also a kind of a, a, a hack that I did I actually saw that hack on YouTube where you remove the disk drive and you put another hard drive so I have two hard drive two drives inside this machine one is the ssd as i mentioned before the 250 gigs ssd and the other one is the 500 gig hard disk drive which i use to store and back up most of my files now i use this computer mostly for editing i normally use uh i used to use iMovie to edit my videos which was pretty good for a, i think a year or eight months and then i had to upgrade to premiere pro but now Premiere Pro also is kind of uh, slowing a bit down on this computer because as I said, this is a very old computer, seven years that I've been using it. It's a 13 inch MacBook Pro and it has a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 16 gigs memory. I also upgraded the memory on this guy because it came with a six gig memory if I'm not mistaken and I upgraded it to 16 gig memory. Now, because the computer is a bit old and I don't run uh, Final Cut, I run Premiere Pro. Maybe if it was Final Cut run on this computer for me to edit, it was gonna make life much easier. But I use Premiere Pro, and when it comes to rendering speeds and all those things, it takes uh, a very long, like right now I was really rendering a 600 megabytes video, and it took almost an hour just to finish rendering that video. So for now, this is my daily driver. This is what I do, what I used to do most of my work, most of my editing work, and I'm actually thinking of changing into the PC, which is the main computer I have in my room for me to do most of the editing. Since it's running Windows, I'm thinking that Premiere Pro will run much better on Windows. All the other option I can do is try and buy the final card for this machine to see if I can improve those speeds. So yeah, this is uh, my best friend at the moment and I use a protection just to protect the uh, keyboards and this is what I've been using for quite a while now, as you can see, it's, it's quite dirty, but it keeps the computer itself protected. As you can see, the keys are still kind of brand new. Uh, I bought this guy secondhand. Obviously, if you guys are looking for a machine to buy and you want to do some editing, I actually wouldn't recommend you guys to go and still pick this guy up because this is a late 2011, as I mentioned, computer. I would suggest that you guys pick something like a Retina MacBook. This is not a Retina MacBook. This is the previous guys that used to come with the CD-ROM here. So if you want to pick up one for editing, I'd suggest that you pick up uh, maybe the late 2012 uh, Retina MacBook or the late 2015. After, uh, that's if you guys are on a budget but obviously if you're bowling like some of you guys are not bowling you can always go and pick up the 2018 macbook pro and use it for whatever you want to use it but unless you're creative and you, you are using this macbook for editing i'd suggest you go check out uh dk's video he uses uh, windows obviously i'm trying to move him to the better life of the <laughs> macbooks and you can use the windows to do uh word processing and all those things i normally don't use this machine for that use it mostly for editing and yeah uh so i just wanted to make a video in response to dk's video as i mentioned before and this is my main machine for the time being until i upgrade to my maybe a new 2018 or 2017 even a 2016 macbook uh with the touch bar would be also good but for now i'm sticking to my old 
best friend here to do most of my job so yeah this is gonna be it for this video uh, i hope you guys like this video if you did like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace <laughs> this is not peace this is peace